Hi everyone and welcome to day two of the watercolour advent calendar. Let's see what's behind the door today. Ah, oh, iced biscuits are my favourite or some as you would call them sugar cookies. So grab your paints and let's get started. Right, Christmas ice biscuits have to be one of my favourite things ever. So I just thought it would be a great idea to have some of these in the advent calendar. So what I'm doing is I'm just drawing a sort of slightly side angle on Christmas tree biscuits. So I'm just repeating the shape there down the sides to get that slightly 3D effect. And then also uh, a sort of, sort of softened star biscuit. There we go. And you can see that's really quite wonky, but the good thing about this is we're just sketching it in and we can get it, get it nice and even however we want it. And lovely. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in the sort of decorations that I'm going to put on my biscuit. It's going to make our life a bit easier. So I've got some sort of little smarties and then we've got some icing going on the top. And for this one, we'll do something a little bit different. We'll do a sort of snowflake design. So imagining the icing being piped on like that. Lovely. And then what I'm going to do, just add a few extra little bits on, is I'm going to just lightly rub out the pencil just so I can get rid of the bits I don't want and then we can start painting. I added just a tiny little extra flourish and a few little sort of sweets on the side. Um, so I'm going to begin with yellow ochre as my biscuit or my cookie. Mix. I think uh, you call these sugar cookies in America, maybe? Anyway, I'm going to begin uh, by painting in the biscuit. So on the, um, on the sort of snowflake, this one, I'm going to use my little four tenths brush because it's a little bit fiddly painting around the edge. But that's what we're gonna do. And it's really quite well, it's just a fun little relaxing pastime watercolour, isn't it? And so all of this is, is in the aim of us having a nice little mindful moment around Christmas. And to be honest, for me, actually, in years gone past, I was really into iced biscuits. And um, I went and did a little class with my mum and we learnt how to make them. And for one year, I made some absolutely excellent little ice biscuits, but it was quite a lot of work. Um, and I always thought it was such a shame. If someone was there to like make up all the icing for me and put it into piping bags, I'd be, I'd be very happy, but I, I'm not a very good baker or precise person. So measuring out all the icing was, was not so good. But painting them, brilliant. I'm in my happy place. So this is basically my top choice for the watercolour advent calendar because I've been gathering suggestions from my patrons who are from all over the world and that is the joy of the advent calendar is we're going to learn about some Christmas traditions and treats and plants and things that some of you may never have heard of before but they mean an awful lot to the people in their native country. So I hope you enjoy this little voyage of discovery we're going to go on together. 
Right, I'm going to now paint in the yellow ochre around the edge of this one where the icing just doesn't quite come up to the edge. I'm going to actually just use the green we've got in the palette to paint the Ooh, got a bit of fluff on my brush to paint the Christmas tree because these are iced biscuits after all they're not massively realistic in colour and in places I'm going to leave a tiny bit of unpainted space a bit of shine on the icing. And then it's a case of just uh, painting in some cheerful colours on the little sweeties. Um, if I can get a little bit of unpainted shine that's always a bonus. So to finish this one off, we just are going to do a little bit of sort of shadowy tones on the biscuit. So first I've got some, just mix in some burnt sienna with the yellow ochre, just to get a slightly deeper colour down the side of the biscuit. And also, and we'll do this on the Christmas tree as well, we want to create just a very, very faint shadowy tone. So I'm going to take brown and blue, mix them together, but then I can mix them and then really dilute them down. Might get a little bit more blue in there. And this will give us, with enough water, a really nice shadowy colour to just give some of the icing a bit of a a bit more roundness and shape makes it look a little bit more like it's actually sitting up off the biscuit Adding in those little low lights really makes such a difference I think and so what I'm going to do for the last little bit I'm just going to take some of the other green colour and add it to my main green mix. And with my four tenths brush, just finish off with a little low light here and there. And if you follow my usual YouTube tutorials, you know that this is the bit where I just could stay all day and just paint little bits of detail. But that is our second day on the advent calendar. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I certainly have. <laughs>